Hey everybody, I'm APH. Welcome back to Timberborn. Got a lot planned for this episode, but let's go over some of the things that happened in the last episode. We uh we we finished two huge monuments. The the flame of progress. We finished two of them. Total of 800 planks between the two of them. Absolute marvel of where our settlement has gone. We Kind of touched up our colony over here. Kind of getting it looking good. Now going forward, we've got plans to actually rapid expand. And in order to do that, we're going to place down some, some pods. It's going to be the first thing. And oh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to expand our our actual forest. And we'll, we'll start with the forest itself. So I'm thinking right here. As we're cycle 14, day one, I think right here's the, the spot to go. Let's uh let's place the staircase up. That way we can demo a couple of those trees and we'll place a forester and some actual lumberjacks in there. Let's go ahead and move them to the top of the priority list. I think that's the way to go. Uh, over here, I think we're going to do something similar where we place a a forester right here and taking a look I think that covers right till there so let's get a some pine trees down and this area that's fertile I really think it's the way to go now let's bump that up to the top of the priority list we've got nine unemployed beavers so we're, we've got to pick up some things in order to make things go a little bit quicker all right for expanding our population we want Roughly 80 beavers in this district to, to separate. And currently we're at 60. So in this spot right here, let's go ahead and place six. Yeah, six, six pods in there. All right, with those down, I think we're kind of in a good spot to get this, uh, this episode going. I think that that's the route. All right, let's, uh, let's plan a road right here so that we can place some lumberjacks in here in the future. Let's see how well that actually covers. One shy. I'm I'm okay with that. Yeah, we'll place four in total. I think that's the, the right route. And over here, we need to get this area ready for being its own district. And part of that is we need one more water barrel. And I'm thinking over here. So we'll do something about like that. And then we need a spot for the district hall, which again is the same 3x3, three three, so we'll leave a route for a walkway. Something like that. And we might as well... We'll place a road right here, but we won't connect that, because what we will do is we will... For some reason, the district hall and the gatehouse... To me, screams they should be under labor. So my mind keeps directing me there. Let's go ahead and build the district hall there so that it auto-builds. Let's build the water. The tank right here. That way, as soon as we get enough materials, we'll get this going. Let's make this all a, a secondary priority so they get the, the first up and going. It's excellent. I like where that's kind of going. I think this spot in here needs to be carrots moving forward. So let's get them planted. I think that's about the right size. As it kind of matches our potatoes. And that will mean we need a farmhouse over here. So. We'll, let, uh, we'll speed up time so that everything can kind of get building. So we can direct where that farmhouse is going to be. Ah, they've built this. Good. Now, this area up here. I don't know what I want this area to be. I do know that I want uh, blueberries over here somewhere. So that's going to be something to come. All right, let's go over the, the night patch real quick. Because there was a patch over the night. So if we grab a, a beaver, uh, it looks like shelter is now under basic needs, which is okay. Nutrients is in its own category, which is fine. Social is in its own category, and we have 
Increase fertility by 25% and increase fertility by 25%. So I would expect to see a hot patch as the Iron Teeth don't actually have fertility. Just to take these stars off of the Iron Teeth. Now aesthetics, we've got the beaver statue gives 5% working speed. Okay, roof gives 5% working speed. Well, that's not good. And the shrubs give 5% working speed. So it used to be you only had to have one of these to give the total aesthetic, and now you require all three. Okay, okay. That's, a, that's, that's something interesting. Then we have our three awes. Which is just to be expected. And then we have uh, fun and knowledge and spiritual under their own uh, tabs. And it looks like they didn't actually change. They just went under their own tabs. So we're, we're okay with that. But it means that we need to change some things with the fact that aesthetics now requires all three in order to, to maintain. And taking a look... I have two homeless beavers, and as I have two homeless beavers, yeah, I was going to say they must be in our district as our other area has a, a quite a bit of housing. So that means these maintain more than the 15 beavers I've been hearing. But if we're going to require extra housing over here, means we're going to need a roof on, on this to, in order to maintain. We're going to need some more houses. Which is a bummer. So. Let's do. Three row houses. The little ones. Not three. Let's do two. And let's go right here and right here. And from there. Looks like they're building the grist mill. And it looks like water's coming back. So that should finish. Because it's just mission gear. Uh, we're going to need. We're going to need the actual bakery up here. Now let's place our road in there. So if we need deco up there, we need we need the, the actual roof. All right, let's unlock the two by two. If I remember correctly from what I've been seeing, two by two. Yeah, it's going to looks like it's going to cover most of that area. All right, let's let's do that. So we'll take care of most of that, and then we're gonna have to deal with this in the future. But that's okay. We'll we'll figure that out. Let's uh, bump this up, and we'll bump these up a little bit. We'll we'll actually prioritize them this way. Got one un unemployed beeve over here, and we actually oh, we had somebody die of old age. I'm not even going to try to say that. Rest in peace, my friend. Let's power the water wheel so that as soon as we start getting the gears and this gets going, we can immediately we can immediately start using this. That sounds like the right way to go. Now wood, we are pretty much down to the only wood we have is the wood that's in the the lumberjacks and over here. So, think going forward, what we want to do is try to get wood over by this ladder. Because if I look at the actual builder's hut here, ooh, we have room here. Let's, uh, let's employ those. It's good that it leaves us with five unemployed beavers for that area. We look at this area. This area holds where they can actually work, even though it's outside their district. So if we do something a little bit, uh, I don't want to do it out or on this side. I want to do it on this side. This might have to change in the future. So if we go too high right here, something like that, and then one high. Yeah, this will have to change in the future. That's for sure. We go something like this, place our road in, and then we place our storage here.
what we can do is possibly put a connector here so we can place another and then we can place a another storage on top let's see how this does if this fills up with wood that's what we're going to do is for the time being we're just going to expand that up to the top and let them fill that up as we go so let's see how that works got a little bit of stuff actually planned out here it looks like we've kind of Looks like this area is nice and good. It looks like we've got a lot of planks. And part of it might be if if this works out, maybe what we'll do is as we get a little higher, we should unlock the the large storehouse. Yeah. I think that's the right route. We'll keep an eye on this. I might be able to work with this in the future if I need to, where I, I, I cut this section off and kind of bring things over. I don't want to get too high. I really don't, because I want this to actually come out and turn. So we'll take a look at that. We'll see what how that plays out. All right, we've got seven unemployed beeves, and they're making good progress over here. As I said, I think this is our bottleneck. Okay, let's uh, let's do this. Let's place a, a builder's hall up here. Just try to make this a little bit quicker. And this area, let's prioritize these trees getting removed. All right, this area has started to plant, but hasn't finished. That's fine. Let's prioritize those and let's mark... This is being a clear zone. Now they're going to build these, but it's it's not too important yet as this will actually take a while. Now how are we doing on gears? We've got one gear. And they finished the actual uh, flour mill. And they're starting to work on, on the actual bakery. It looks like we just need a few more gears for that. So hopefully that we can get those gears during the next uh, section of drought. Or are they putting them over here? Ooh, they're building this water tank. Okay. That might be a loss. We might be getting the water tank and not the and not the not the actual uh, bakery. That's okay. We'll get the bakery next time. We will get the bakery next time. All right. For in here, we need a road and two lumberjacks so they can clear this area. And let's bump them up and let's mark all of these trees to be harvested. Excellent. And what we should do is I'm thinking right here. Let's place Levy's there so that we can place a, a water dump right here. So we're going to have to let this clear out so that we can build that. Now, this one is set up, so let's go ahead and connect the road. And we need to go one more higher. And we'll do the doubles. And we'll come around this way. And we only need to, to do this one right here. You know what? Let's, uh, let's go ahead and do the walkway here. And the walkway here. And this way they can get over onto the roof. Yeah, I think that's the route. Let's uh, set this one up for bread. That way when the road connects, it's ready. Oh yeah, we gotta connect that way. Connect this way, it's good. 
connect that. I think we're missing a road right here. I think that should connect it as they build it. So we should be good. And over here, I want a, a staircase up to the actual, the actual aqueduct. So let's remove these trees and we'll do probably right there. Over? Ooh. Not the, the spot that I wanted. Let's try that again. Get rid of that one. And kind of as they get up here, I think this is a good spot for, for this district to have a builder. Yeah, let's do like that. Let's plan our roads. And we probably ought to prioritize getting rid of those trees for for uh, day, what is it, day eight? Yeah. And then we'll plan the builder here. We have two unemployed beef, so that's kind of good. If they, they finish this during the next couple of uh, days during the drought, we'll be actually in good shape. All right, they're removing the one. We'll come back to that in a second. There it goes. And even have to come back in a second. They just rip through that. Excellent. All right. No unemployed. So that's that's a thing. We have two unemployed beefs. That means we've got two over here. Let's uh migrate them back to the main district. Did it place them in the workhouses up here? No unemployed. All right, let's uh, let's pause these ones. Excellent. Now, one of the patch notes that I saw last in the the actual thing said they fixed the actual breeding pods where they didn't malfun or where they didn't function. And I gotta say, I'm pretty happy about that as that actually drove me nuts that I I spent probably better part of a season trying to get them to work. Yeah, we'll plan a staircase up right here. And it will go up into the actual dump. And over here, let's plan something that looks about like this. Ooh. Completely miss that. So we'll get them to prioritize the removal of that. And we'll do a walkway. And we'll do a water dump up here as well. Now the original plan was to uh, not actually... Yeah, come on guys. Come remove this uh, carrot seed so that we can get this going. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Alja? Alanja? So I'm I'm horrible with names, and I gotta say that uh thank you to that beaver, but I can't say your name. Now. One more Levy. There we go. Let's go ahead and prioritize that up and then we'll get that going. This will keep this area nice and fertile during the the actual dry season. And I'm not sure if we should do something like that over here. I really wanted to to wait till dynamite, but I'm hearing the droughts are only going to get more fun and more fun. As this one was a 13 day, not too bad. All right, our our wood is up to 500, so we're starting to maintain. Now, is an issue with the the actual distribution? Yeah, it looks like they have a stock. All right, so let's prioritize this by the haulers. And let's modify the limit. So maybe the issue is we need to increase this to 1,000. All right, let's, uh, let's see what the actual high resources above this limit cannot be carried to a district. Into a district, okay. So maybe they're stopping at 100. Maybe that's the issue. And planks. Maybe we do 300. Yeah, let's let's give that a shot and see if that helps. Got to do something different as uh, we're not 
We're building this, and, and it's coming along, but it's not coming along as fast as I'd like it to. But the good news is, this filled up. That means that we, we have the, the means to get one more industrial log pile on top. Yep, let's make sure the arrows point in the right direction. So that would be good going forward. And we should start our levies on this side over here. Let's try that again. Excellent. Because because we don't need, we, we can't have levies on both sides, but we can at least get levies as far on the one side as possible to try to make it so that when we're ready, they just immediately start uh, filling in the gaps. That's what my brain is trying to say. There we go. Now these extra workers, let's, uh, we've got unemployed beefs. Exactly what we want. Let's uh let's bump that up. And we've got unemployed beeves over here. No, we don't. We had seven unemployed beeves for a minute there. And immediately we went to by adding two, we immediately went to three. I'm a little confused, but maybe they went somewhere else. Ooh, this is ready for our, our staircase. Let's get that in and let's get our, our remaining path. And let's get a forester in here. There we go. And I'm thinking we're just going to immediately start with, with the actual maples in here. I think that's the route. Speaking of that, I had, I had a plan for this episode and I got off of it because... Well, thanks, but why are you not connected? Let's connect to you. This district, I named it Lumber last episode just because, well, I I felt that it was, uh, that way it would signify which district it was. And I got to thinking about what is this district? And well, I believe Maple Grove matches. So you, beavers of this district, shall now be known as the District Maple Grove. And thank you for your hard work and dedication to getting all of the trees we need. Thank you. And thank you. And thank you. Thank you, guys. Now again, it looks like end of day and that uh, that second industrial log pile looks like it's getting close. And wow, are they ripping through those levees by having it right there. I got to say that that was probably the right way to go. Got four unemployed bees over here. So we could, in theory, expand our builders out or we could wait a minute. We've, we're up to 77. It's kind of the, the route we want. I, I'm not sure I want... Uh, 70, or I'm not sure I want 80 with, uh, you know, 17 of them being children, but that will be something I have to look at in the future. Now this. I need you guys to come remove this one, please. So that we can place a water dump up here. Just saying, one of you guys, it's, it's coming up on day. Come on up here. Or not. All right, let's uh, let's fix these farms as we've got a little bit of room here. Uh, so let's uh, let's place uh, potatoes in here and carrots in here. Seems like the right route. I just went one over. Let's fix that one before somebody gets uh, wrecked with their OCD. I think that's uh, good. All right, this we've got our carrots here. We need another farmhouse. So let's let's bring this out yeah we'll stop it right there that actually might be really good and we'll bring a walkway down something like that and we'll place a platform here if I could grab the right one let's get our road in excellent 
and let's do a farmhouse. Let's go with a farmhouse, not a lumber mill. Come on, APH. You got this. Yeah, let's place that there. I think that goes with our our theme, and then on... Alright, here's what I'm thinking. We need aesthetic over here. Apparently we need some statues. Let's do a proper welcome to this district. Let's place a, a platform there and a platform here. With, with an actual beaver statue right here and right here is the welcome to the district. That way everybody coming in is properly welcomed. And this is ready. We can place our, our labor monument. Let's try that again. Yeah, right there. We'll let that finish before we build the the roof over here. That way they don't get stuck. Oh, and look at this. They are just tearing that apart. Excellent, excellent, excellent. This is good. We're making some progress here. Now, we could utilize this for trees as well. Yeah, maybe we do that. Maybe up here we utilize for trees, and maybe down here we utilize for trees. How far does this reach? All right, let's place a staircase down. Because this is, this is going to be a while, and we're going to have to place a spot up here to let this, uh, this forester actually... A spot that uh, provides water to make this forester work even better. But for now, maybe we can expand. Maybe do some trees down here and some blueberry bushes, maybe? All right. Come on, guys. I need you to build the wooden stair, not not the actual aqueduct. The aqueduct's important. And trust me, it's important. It's your guys' future. But I need stairs first. All right. They brought the planks. They just need the logs. Let's do... Let's do maple in this area, leaving room for the aqueduct going forward. And blueberry. Do I want blueberry here or do I want blueberry here? Think about blueberry here. Now the forester can get part of that. Alright, we'll do... We'll do the blueberries here and then we'll do... This will be exclusively maples. I think that's the route to go. Oh, this is not finished. That's why we didn't bump up the priority. Come on. This is not good. Now these, are they not marked? They're not marked. All right, guys, come get these couple of trees. We'll be good for you. I promise. All right. Oh, our pines are getting going. We've got unemployed beeves. Let's go ahead and unpause this so they can get these. And now did I mark that? I did. All right. It's exactly what we wanted. Exactly what we wanted. So this area looks good. This area looks amazing. Our, our tree situation in this district is absolutely horrible. This might actually help it and Hopefully this this will actually be for this territory over here, as I think the gatehouse is going to be... I'm thinking right there. I think that will be the, the spot going forward. Berries are, are up and going. Now it's going to take about 20 days in order to get them being productive, and... We need... We need more than that, but I'm not sure how to get them there without putting a temporary forester. So that's okay. We'll we'll revisit that. All right. Let's move this to the top so that that gets done. And taking a look. Ooh. Some of the area. We're okay with that. We're okay with that. Taking a look. I think this is a good spot to call this episode. A lot of it's just going to be a little bit of letting things build up. Letting some... Some materials build up as we've just ripped through all the planks we've had and moving through quite a bit of the actual wood we have. I think we've made good progress in working towards the dam as they've started on the levees and they've started constructing over here. Like 
thank you guys for joining. If you like this, uh, you know, consider checking out my channel where we do other survival games as well as consider leaving a like or a comment down below as it would really help me grow my channel. And we will see you in the next episode.